With some breaking news, police are releasing new information on a man they say is behind a random attack at Kendall Yards that ended with a woman badly hurt. Spokane police say that they have just arrested 25-year-old Michael Trout, who is wanted for first-degree assault. And Spokane police say that woman was attacked while walking the Centennial Trail in Kendall Yards. And we want to show you where the incident exactly happened. According to detectives, the assault happened in the area of Nettleton Street and Ohio Avenue. Peter Choi is near Olmstead Brothers Green Park tonight. And he has more on this breaking news of an arrest. Yeah, that's right. This is where it exactly happened yesterday. And police say the woman was able to defend herself and, it, what, and get herself out of the situation. It was a broad daylight Wednesday morning when 25-year-old Michael Trout attacked woman walking on the Centennial Trail. Now, Trout is wanted for first-degree assault. Police officials say the motivation behind this attack is still unknown, and there's no information on the attack was sexually motivated. And some people I talked to say they do feel unsafe using this trail recently. Take my pepper spray with me. Uh, because I don't always <laughs> feel totally safe. After years of using the Centennial Trail, Melissa Persling says she recently feels unsafe. She avoids being out here early and late in the day. I try to be really conscious of uh, what's going on around me, and I'm super careful in areas where there's not a lot of people around. About four years I've been coming out on Centennial for jogs and walks. Um, it's usually a lovely location to run. I like being alongside the river. Group of college students tell me many of them use this trail, and they warn each other to be careful. Tax, but I have heard that Centennial can be unsafe, especially at night. So I've had other people kind of warn me, just be careful. Usually if I'm out here by myself, I bring pepper sprayers. According to Spokane Police Department, a woman was attacked, but she wasn't seriously hurt. The woman's sister said on Instagram that she was attacked, strangled, and beaten in broad daylight that that did happen just because I think there's a lot of definitely college students that come out here yeah um, like us that run on this trail and use yeah. it a lot um, so I just hope that everybody's able to stay safe and yeah I don't know take the right precautions and uh, we just got a new information that the SPD just has just taken Michael Trout into custody and they said that without any incident we'll give you more updates as we get them in Spokane Peter Choi for News Now